Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to another battery test. This one's a whole lot different than my usual tests, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. It's all about this little guy, the cart. I'm usually concerned about the battery of the Nintendo Switch console running out, but here you're gonna have to watch the battery of the cart as well which I believe won't last as long as the console. But let's find out exactly how much playtime you're gonna get out of this thing. With Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, there's four speed settings, 50cc, 100cc, 150 and 200cc. Of course, the faster your cart goes, the faster the battery should drain. It's really no different than a Tesla. I tested all four speeds and in all cases, I was actually playing the game continuously without taking a break. Let's just say I played a lot of Mario Kart Live. I unlocked every gold cup at every speed and earned about 2000 coins. So with the carts fully charged, let's get this test started. At about the 30 minute mark, all four speeds were going fully strong at full four bars. As expected, 200cc went down to three bars first, and this happened at 40 minutes and 43 seconds. And about two minutes after, the 150cc went down to three bars at 42 minutes and 54 seconds. Another one minute after, the 100cc went down to three bars at 43 minutes and 47 seconds. And the 50cc didn't see the three bars until about 52 minutes and five seconds. At the one hour mark, all cars were still going strong at the three bars. 200cc went to two bars at about hour and 20 minutes. And just a few seconds after, 150 went down to two bars as well. The 100cc went down to two bars at one hour and 25 minutes. And the 50cc lasted another 10 minutes before it went down to two bars at an hour and 36 minutes. At the two hour mark, all four carts still had two bars left. 200cc saw the one bar first at 2 hours and 14 minutes and the 100cc the second high speed saw the one bar at about 2 hours and 17 minutes. The 100cc went down to one bar at 2 hours and 22 minutes and the slowest speed 50cc went down to one bar at about 2 hours and 35 minutes. Now as expected, the fastest car 200cc powered off first and this happened at about 2 hours and 41 minutes. The second high speed 150cc powered off second at 2 hours and 45 minutes. The 100cc cart powered off at 2 hours and 51 minutes. And the slowest cart, the 50cc speed, powered off at about 3 hours and 6 minutes. So those are my results. A channel about 100 times larger than mine reported 3 hours at 50cc, which matches up really well with my results, but they were totally wrong about everything else. They're claiming only 1 hour at 200cc. That's nowhere close to what I got. And it really makes me wonder if they even tested it or just slapped some numbers together for the audience. Anyways, let's talk about what we just witnessed in my test. I'm a bit surprised. Just over 3 hours at 50cc makes sense, but to get only 20 minutes less at the fastest 200cc, that was totally unexpected. It's like you get more range at a faster speed. Imagine if a Tesla did that. The cart goes much faster at higher speeds, yet the effect on battery life isn't huge. And that's a good thing. So next time you're playing Mario Kart Live, go fast boys and girls. Go as fast as you can without worrying about the battery life. Now if you do have an older version 1 Nintendo Switch console, that console might actually run out of battery before the cart. Although I haven't tested it, the Lite and the version 2 console should last longer than the cart. And once your cart does run out of battery, you can fully charge it in about 4 hours. 
So that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. Were you surprised as I was? And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.